defibrillation. Throughout the defibrillation process, it is important that you pay special attention to minimizing interruptions in chest compressions. Defibrillation is a simple 1-2-3 operation. Step 1. Select defib mode. Note that the defibrillation energy protocol for the Zoll R series with rectilinear biphasic waveform is 120, 150, and 200 joules. The device will automatically start at 120 joules and increase the energy for each subsequent shock, unless your institution has configured it differently. ALS providers can change the energy setting manually by pressing the Energy Select button up or down. Step 2. BLS providers press Analyze and follow screen and voice prompts. Stand clear. ALS providers press Charge. Before shocking the patient, ensure the environment is safe for defibrillation. Remove high concentrations of oxygen from the patient. Confirm that no one is touching the patient. Look to make sure all persons are clear of the patient, the bed, and any equipment connected to the patient. Loudly warn all persons to stand clear. Step 3. Press the illuminated shock button. Clear. Begin shock. compressions immediately after you have delivered the shock. shock. After two minutes of compressions, observe the rhythm and, if needed, shock the patient again. When you shock the patient again, the energy level is automatically incremented. Repeat this sequence until the end of the resuscitation event.